In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate symmetry mates using Pymol. Sometimes you'll find a structure in the PDB, and it's obviously a dimer. However, when you go to load it in Pymol, you're only seeing half the structure. So let's go ahead and fetch one CTS. And so we see our half a protein here. Go to the display menu and turn on your sequence. And you can verify that there's just one chain. So you know that this protein is a dimer because you saw it in the PDB or you read it in the paper or you've seen an image of it before. Now we have to get this to something where we can actually see the dimer to see some conformational changes. So what we do is go into the A tab here, actions, generate symmetry mates, and uh, this will be within plus or minus one unit cell, and I just choose usually within four angstroms. And that gives us a bunch of new objects in the object panel. And so we can see we've added a lot of information to this. There's all these symmetry mates that it's generated that are around that main single subunit. I recommend turning off everything except the original 1CTS to start, and then we can look at these one at a time and see which one is going to complete our dimer in the way that we expect. And so this one is obviously not making the dimer, it's a little too far away. This one is also far away, we're really looking for something that sandwiches with it. Okay, and this one is, is kind of sharing an end, so this is a potential candidate for it since we see sharing of this edge here. But we'll keep looking. This one is kind of off to the side and not quite how it looks in the, in the PDB image. And this one actually matches really well. So I have this a little, oriented a little differently here. But if we kind of flip this in this direction, we can see that this is our probable symmetry mate. All right, now that we've identified our symmetry mate, what we're going to want to do is put this into one CTS so we can operate on everything together. So go to Actions, Copy to Object, One CTS. And this part gets a little painful, but I'll just delete all of these symmetry mates that I'm not using now since 1CTS uh, now contains its second symmetry mate. With our workspace cleaned up, let's go ahead and fetch another structure to align it. I'll go ahead and fetch 1NXE. And now we have our two molecules here. They're not aligned, so I'll use the superimposition command to align them. And there we go, those have lined up pretty well. And uh, the one NXE structure actually had both sides of our dimer already in there. And so now we can align this properly with other structures. We can toggle these structures on and off in the object panel to look at one CTS and one NXE separately. I hope you found this really quick tutorial on symmetry mates useful. Happy modeling and thanks for watching.